friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. The camera probably appears to be at a higher angle to me right now, and uh, that would be a fact. I made a new mount for my new camera, which is this little deal right here. Uh, you know, I don't know. I did a lot of research trying to find a good camera that would meet my needs. You know, I needed an external jack and I needed to be able to see what I'm doing so that I can turn this around and see what I'm doing, what's in frame. You know, it just doesn't do any good if the frame's on the back. So it had to have the one that would let me see it from the front. It also had to have, you know, autofocus, of course, and it needs to have a way to plug it in, you know, is to keep it charged because I don't want to run on battery power. But that need I didn't define until after I got this. <laughs> Now, I think I can probably plug it in with a USB charger deal and maybe charge it with USB. I haven't looked at the directions yet. I just got the thing out of the box. It's a Canon EOS uh, 800D is what it says. It seemed like I had a different name on that when I ordered it. I thought it was a Rebel or something like that, but apparently not. Anyway, this EOS... 800D seems to meet all the requirements that I need and the price was reasonable. Uh, it was in the $600 range. I went ahead and bought it as a kit, which I realize those kits, 90% of the stuff that comes in the kits are crap. But the reason I did was the body by itself was just about the same price as the kit. Um, so the kit was just, I mean like 10 or 12 bucks more or something like that. It wasn't much more at all and it came with this lens which was a good deal so it's a Canon lens and it's an 18 to 55 and that will probably do most everything I need to do right here at the bench I don't know you know it's six and one half half a dozen in the other I didn't want to spend a thousand dollars for a camera I'm a YouTube creator so maybe I should but on the other hand the the video production in the way I think of it is totally secondary to my main business which is repairing and building instruments so this is a secondary thing to me so that's why I just don't want to invest super heavy in camera gear and all that other stuff but maybe you know what they say you know if you buy cheap you buy twice so maybe I'll buy twice who knows <laughs> But, you know, I've gotten along with the camera you're seeing me on right now. I've gotten along with that for four years or better, and I paid 90 bucks for it at a pawn shop. <laughs> it was used. But I've also paid for it in other ways. Uh, like I said, the sound has driven me completely bonkers nuts, and that's the main reason I went with this. I did buy also a... Uh, lapel mic which is wireless you know people were saying well that'll keep you tied down well I didn't plan on having a wired mic and I have to admit I went the cheap route on this and uh, I probably are gonna regret that too I didn't spend the big bucks this had a very good review on everything I read and so that's why I went with this this is a Boya system a Boya BYWM6 and you can see there's got a transmitter receiver and a wireless lapel mic Who knows? We're just going to have to give it a shot and see what happens. Well, like I said, right now you're still seeing me on the old camera. The next scene you see will be hopefully from the new camera with the uh, wireless mic working and all that stuff. Actually, before I show you images coming out of my new camera, this is the old camera again taking a picture of my new mount. You can see this expands in and out. And uh, you can see here that it's got a, like a camera tripod mounting on the top there, which gives you pretty much all the movement you need. The only negative of this is that the whole thing doesn't go up and down. The whole arm can't come down this way or up that way. My old one did that a little bit, which was kind of helpful. I may regret that part, but this is so much better mount. Now you see that and it look, almost looks like it was made for this purpose. But actually what that is, is a pop rivet uh, gun. It's an extendable arm pop rivet gun. And Grizzly was closing those out at uh, the Grizzly store. And I said, you know, as sturdy as that's made, and it's very heavy. This is heavy steel and everything. It's very, very well made and very sturdy. I thought, that'll be perfect for a camera mount. You know, and I can swing it back and forth. And I had to make the little mount there on the wall, too. The little metal brackets you can see on the wall. 
and I put a bushing up through the handle. The handle was already hollow, thank goodness. And uh, anyway, did a lot of work and made a little uh, L-shaped bracket here to turn it the other way and a way to connect it into the pop rivet gun there. And, and really, I didn't alter the pop rivet gun in any way that I couldn't reuse it as a pop rivet gun if I wanted to, which I don't ever expect to, but you know, it could be used. So, and I didn't really alter this in any way that couldn't be put back on a tripod. So everything is just uh, working in its native format. And this is a pretty good uh, mount here, actually. I like this because it has this side uh, wheel which spins this nut onto the camera. So you can get your camera on and off real easy by turning that, which is really nice. Just thought I'd show you that little mount. This is a pretty good deal. Let me show you what my old mount looked like. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It was just a lamp, uh, just an extendable arm lamp uh, deal that I had my camera mounted to. And it served me good for four years, but it's pretty flimsy and uh, it, it just wasn't gonna be good for the new camera. Well, friends, this is what the new camera looks like. And hopefully you're hearing what the sound sounds like, and hopefully it's good. <laughs> I'm real happy with the new camera, and in my testing, the wireless microphones are pretty darn awesome, actually. Um, you know, they may be cheap, but they seem to have a pretty clear sound, and uh, they keep the level much better. Uh, I can move around, uh, you know, like before, if I would have moved this far away from the camera, I would have had to talk a lot louder in order for you to hear me. But uh, being able to have these wireless uh, mics really does free me up rather than tie me down. And uh, that's really good for me, especially when I'm in the other part of the shop. Uh, you know, I, couldn't be t I could be talking a little further away from the camera and that would be helpful at times. Anyway, uh, I think overall I'm pretty pleased with it. I hope you are. Uh, I've got a lot to learn with it. You know, I, I simplified my life in terms of sound perhaps in a way, and then of course in a way I complicated it because now I've got to remember to turn on these two wireless deals, one at that end and one at this end, and I've got to wear this little monkey mic here that I've just got hit on my shirt. I'm not worried about hiding it. You're going to probably see it in videos. Uh, you know, I'm, this is not a TV show in my opinion. <laughs> you know, uh, you, you get what you pay for. <laughs> uh oh, there are people paying though now that I think about it. <laughs> so maybe I should, maybe I should try to hide it. But anyway, uh, you know, I'm overall, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, you know, the, it, the camera has wireless capability. I can send my photos right over to my computer there wirelessly without even having to take the card out. Uh, that seems to work fairly quickly, fairly easily. Um, you know, time will tell. Um, you know, now the other thing is I've got to worry about battery life, which I, I never had to worry about before because I just kept the camera plugged into the wall. This one doesn't seem to support that, but I'm going to look into that further. I haven't found in the directions anywhere where it says you can just use a USB cord and plug the camera in. You know, most people wouldn't do that with a camera, uh, you know, I admit, but I need, that would be a very good feature for me. But anyway, I, I assume it will work. If any of you know that, uh, please tell me. It's a Canon EOS, uh, well it says 800D on the front, but it's actually a T7i. It's a, a, a Canon Rebel T7i, and then the, I guess the specific part of that is it's an 800D, whatever that stands for, I have no clue. As a matter of fact, when you look up the model on their website, if, if you type in EOS 800D, you find nothing, nothing at all. You have to put in the T7i, and uh, on the you know, owner's manual here, it says T7i. Well, it does say the e, uh, the 800D on the manual, so I don't get it. I, on their website, you don't ever see the 800D. But I've gone through this book. Now, the other thing that's driving me crazy, and if anybody has an idea about this, and it could just be this piece of junk remote, because this is what came with that kit. This works for single action pictures, but it doesn't work for movies. And I've checked every setting, I've gone here, I've done YouTube searches, and I'm setting it just like another fellow. He's got a T7i, he has it set, I mean, I have mine set exactly like his. 
his works for movies. Mine doesn't work for movies. So I don't understand that. Unless mine's, because mine's the 800D, you know, I'd, that'd be my luck that this doesn't work for movies. Now this, this would be very helpful if it would work for movies. Oh well, it's just part of it and part of the learning curve, I guess. Hope you enjoyed uh, seeing what the uh, new camera and the new sound's gonna be like. Thanks for watching. Yeah.